Morning guys and welcome down to the Quest for the Open vlog this week. And I am in Cobham. Cobham in Surrey. Cobham. So it's going to be a pretty intense few days. Down here with Rick and we'll do some filming today with a couple of guys from Dude Perfect, so Tyler and Cody, which really looking forward to, really great guys. Met a couple of years ago now initially. Um, down the Whistle Sports Party in London, but eventually going to get out on the golf course with them today, which is going to be really cool. And then heading over to Kent, doing some filming with Golf Monthly, doing some stuff for the magazine, and going to Prince's as well. So it's going to be, yeah, very, very intense. Hey, where are you off to, Tom? Who are they going in the tall grass? Found a duck egg over here. Oh, is that, <laughs> is that right? Sitting behind a huge tree. <laughs> that says Cody on it. Oh, oh, you stole my ball and hit it over there. That's a bummer. And we get down to Burr Hill, and it's a beautifully still day today. Beautifully still. And I'm joined in the buggy by a very special guest. Cody, Tom how are you, buddy? Okay. What's up, folks? How are we? Is that your full name? Tall Man Cody. Tall Man Cody, that is my full name. Seems, uh, seems like surname. unusually cruel. Yeah, I know it is, but I uh, eat my vegetables as a kid and turned out that uh, my name fit because I'm 6'6 six, six, and I'm telling you right now the doorways the hallways the ceilings the fans they're all too low here in the UK I've hit my head about four times in two days well, we are notoriously short here in the UK yeah it's man it's frustrating everything's built on maximum six foot yeah. scale so here's so. the problem you're in the fairway right now and that's great to find your ball but mine's that way in the rough I mean oh, it, the I, crow. it's been experimental so far <laughs> what is that eating though? I don't know a piece of bread Look at a full crumpet. Wow, that's a pretty good shot off the deck. I'm not gonna lie to you. Was Tell you in the bunker, mate. Yeah, that, that accent is is fascinating, <laughs> if nothing else. I'm in the bunker. I'm in the bunker? Yeah. Where's your give me your the rubbish American. bin? American. Wanna play soccer? <laughs> Pete's really good at it. I'll, I'll, you start it off. I'd like to hear Pete. I like to hear You Pete. start it off and I'll I think I go offensively south though. It goes <laughs> to okay. I hope no... you'll fit right in with us. <laughs> yeah. Alright then. <laughs> That's right. Well, all right, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film the rest of this vlog in this accent. He got like Arabian. <laughs> Arabian. Arabia. Just quick break in play, and these boys come up. What we thought of the course so far? Oh, it's been beautiful. It's uh, first time, first time you boys played out of the US, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. For the most part, over at least over the pond, um, it's definitely a lot cloudier, uh, a lot wetter. <laughs> But it's playing good. The rough's a little rough. Rough's rough here. Yeah. 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 But uh, good stuff though. Scores are low. Let me tell you. Oh I think yeah. We're, no, we're ten under. Team scores. Team scores. Rick's trying to interrupt our little thing we got going on here. Shocker. Honestly, he's always like this. Yeah. I know. Whenever I turn on my camera, he's got to turn on his, and you know how it goes. It's just more camera envy than anything else. I play with Pete Finch, everybody. Can you believe that? Love that guy. That's, that's the Aww, favorite. Aw, stop it. Thank <laughs> you. I've got it. I'm so happy. <laughs> That was good fun. Yeah, that was alright, that was it. That was alright. Oh my god. They are literally like I did I don't know if you were, but I was in, unbelievably nervous. They are like heroes. I've loved what they've done for so long, it's unreal. They were so nice as well. They were they such nice, nice guys. Alarmingly nice. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, wow. Right. That makes us best friends now. We're best friends. Besties. Now. Besties forever. Just we need to wait for us to feature on their channel now, but we made the first step. I think that's important. I think so, yeah. <laughs> we, we we went over to the bar and chatted to them and bought them a drink. Yes. So now let's see what happens. It's now time we wait by the side of our phone, wait for it to ring. Don't be too needy though. <laughs> Don't call first. Never call first. 
Right, I've got down to Sandwich in Kent, and by the way, the I've never been down here before, so this is the southeast of uh, England, and it's as far to the coast as you can pretty much get before you uh, hit the ocean and then just basically swim across to France. <laughs> it's a very narrow crossing at this point, but I've never been down this far. Doing filming and stuff for Golf Monthly tomorrow, the magazine, which I'm very excited about. Check out this house. Hmm. That is very, very old school. And I've got a funny feeling I'm on like some kind of private estate here. I'm staying down here in the lodges that they've got at Prince's. And I've just walked up to the top. And okay. Yeah, this is the channel. Check this guy out. On a great time this evening. Oh god, I can zoom in more. Oh this new camera's just the greatest. So I'm meeting Tom from Galvin Green down here. I think I can see Royal St. George's or Prince's. I'm not sure which golf course that is. I can see, but it's a bit of a walk away, so I won't bother going all the way down there. It's over there. I've also got some footage that I took from the Lake District uh, this weekend. Just check out this drone footage and stuff that I got on the GoPro when I was on the top of a mountain. If you're scared of heights, look away now. I think it's a strong look, it's a strong look. show you about this place I'm staying in the Lynx suite which is awesome um, so they put me up in this and it's overlooking I think it's the fifth hole but this is the view from the room and it looks like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful morning so this is Prince's Golf Club there's three loops of nine and then over there that's Royal St George's and it's literally a flat so there's couches TV table Another table, a huge bathroom. It's crazy. It is crazy. I'm a little bit tired, a little bit befuddled this morning. So I'm going to go down to breakfast and then it is a full day of filming, photography, all sorts of fun stuff. So how about you just come along with me. God, I need a coffee. These little huts are everywhere on this course. How cool are they? Right, done filming and got some amazing, amazing footage. I have to say, this course is 
brilliant, <laughs> it really is. There's three loops of nine holes here. Now I've managed to get around 18, but I'm having to drive back. I've got like a six hour drive back, unfortunately. But it was worth it. Absolutely loved every second of it. I'm gonna, just before I go, nip down the ninth on the Himalayas course where Gene Sarazen's bunker is. Now Gene Sarazen won the open here in 1932 and he went in this bunker three of the four rounds, led wide to wide and he's one of the only players to complete the Grand Slam. So I'm going to go in his bunker and I'm going to play a couple of shots out of it, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, yeah, it's great here. So here it is, Sarazen's bunker. So three out of the four rounds he was in here. Let's see if I can get out. I'm gonna have a couple of shots. Flag's back left though. It's definitely diff more difficult today than it was in the open. That's short. <laughs> so this is the gallery, which is in the lodges here at Prince's and it's just a, an amazing room. <laughs> and this is incredibly exciting. This is the first modern sandwich. So this is the club that was invented by Gene Sarazen when he won the Open here. And this is the, I, I don't even want to think how much this is worth. So Sarazen was rubbish out of bunkers, his own words. And what he did, he just started to learn to fly. And he started to notice that when he pulled the stick back and when the plane took off, there was a bit of a light bulb moment and he understood that if he used the same type of theory on the bottom of the wedge, so he added the flange, it would guide the club up and out of the sand. First modern sand wedge, won the open, instantly became incredible out of bunkers and has helped millions of golfers ever since. Unbelievable. I'm just so lucky to even have hold of this. So look at that for sand and pit shots. And this will be going back to the bank vault, literally, <laughs> very, very soon. Not only have they got the sand wedge, they've also got the driver that he used during the 1932 comp. I don't know why I'm whispering, can't hear me. <laughs> the Model B. <laughs> Again, look at that club face. I almost don't want to go. <laughs> Half because of the drive length and Okay, gotta go. Come on, let's go. Right, back home, and what an incredible week that was. Um, the videos are going to do perfect. They're going to be coming out this week, coming at some point. I'm not entirely sure when, but just want to make sure we take our time with them because they are very, very cool videos. And also going to Paris this week, which is going to be pretty awesome. So going over there with Galvin Green. They've got like the new range coming out. So going over there, and yeah, quite something else as well. I can't remember, but it's going to be an amazing week. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. I'll see you next time. Okay. Got to go do the gardening.